All right, hey everybody. Uh, today, what we're gonna do is, this is the Newbie Drone F41S Hummingbird brushless, and we're gonna do a mod to the VTX. What we're gonna do is, um, the first batch of these had a little defect in the um, in the VTX where you would get lines in your video. So there is a mod you can do to add a wire from the camera to a spot on the flight controller and it will fix your video. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to pull this apart and add the wire. I'll show you where it goes and then we will um, do a test. I already flew it without the wire and it didn't seem too bad but I'm going to go for it anyway and see what the difference is. So we're going to do that uh, right now. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to take the canopy off. One screw there. One screw there. And one screw on this side if I could get it. And of course we're going to be careful these wires are for the uh, receiver so we're just going to be kind of careful with that. And as you can see the camera, it's going to make this a little easy to do. There's a plug here so we're just going to, you know, I'm always careful I don't want to start ripping things uh, even though they might be strong, but I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wiggle and maybe a fingernail pull. And maybe we'll just do it this way. Gotta, uh, i got to get be careful of these, the, the RX antenna. Wow, this is in there pretty good. Hmm. There we go. So, so what we got to do is, and I'm sure I'm not going to be able to zoom in this close, but they have a video for this, and it looks like the pad that we're going to use is the very last one right here right in front of the clip and then the other end is going to go into uh, a place that I'm gonna have to take this camera apart or off the canopy anyway it uh, is going to go into one of these here which I will show you once I get it soldered um, but I'm going to have to take this apart. And we'll put this In here somewhere we go. Oops, don't want to lose the screws. These are real small. And just make sure we kind of know how this stinker is going to go over here. So, so what we're going to do is, it's, it's going to be, I believe, the second one down, and I'm going to double check, and then I will um, solder that up and show you where that is. So, um, I'm going to get myself together here with the soldering iron, and um, 
a grip and we'll get that going. All right, I think we're ready to go here. I am going to put some flux on here. I hate to use a lot. Ah, yeah, just like that. And it just kind of rolls. So what I'm going to do is, um, actually, uh, I'm going to spin this around. And pray for the best. I already tinned the wire. So, oops. I'm gonna be careful not to melt anything here. And my eyes are junk, so. That was good. So, where are we? So, yeah, that looks good. So, let's get this out of the way. And, you know, I'm hoping this is all in focus because I can't tell. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to attempt to tin the pad I need, which is the very last uh, pad, I mean, the very last one here. I know my tip is a little big, but... Come on. All right. Only need a little bit. And let's see. So this is how it's gonna be. So we're gonna, oh, darn it. All right, so I'm gonna turn this this way. And hope I don't melt receiver wire, that would really be a bad thing. And I hope my magnifying headgear doesn't get in the way. See if I can show you that right there. So yeah, it looks locked in pretty good, I think. Yeah, it looks locked in pretty good. So it's the last pad there. And then on this, it's the pin just below, the first pin just below the switch here. So you can kind of see that there. So now, what I'm going to do is, and I'm not going to bore you guys with putting it all back together. I think we all know how it goes back together. So I will put it together, show it to you again, and then we will do, I already did a test with it without the wire. And then, so I'll do another one with the wire and show you how it looks. And we will conclude and see if this actually works. So um, after the test, I will see you all then. Okay, um, a little addendum to this process. Um, I didn't realize it until I was putting it together that this is this thing here is the bracket that screws onto the goober canopy to hold the camera in. And I didn't realize that the white wire was actually going above it and it was pinching, yeah, pinching it pretty good. 
So I had to actually unsolder this from the flight controller so I could get the wire up there. And now, as you can see, it looks uh, looks pretty good. So um, hopefully you'll see this step before you actually, you know, before you actually do it. But I wanted to just throw that in there. Maybe I'll make a note of it somehow. And um, that way you can see it before you do it. So, okay, back to the assembly. All right, so I got it together. It wasn't wasn't as easy as I thought it would it was going to be because the plug for the um, for the camera and everything it was just hard to curl back in and plug back into the socket there. But um, you can see the wire, so it's in there pretty good. The mount for the goobers in there real tight. Um, everything looks good. I didn't manage to wreck the receiver antennas, which was surprising, but um, they look good. So now it's just the test, and we'll see. So I'll show that to you guys, and then we'll uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens. So all right. So till then, see ya. All right. So this is the flight before doing anything it's right out of the box the hex is what was shipped on it so you can see the lines in it you know the glitches uh, coming up every now and then it's actually not that bad and you know what these uh, the cameras that are on um, that are on these are probably one of the best that I've ever had on a whoop so um, you can't complain about that and I've had lines worse than this before uh, oh, and we're going to see if turtle mode works. Um, I wish my uh, pilot skills were as good as the camera, but um, hey, you do what you can do. And don't uh, uh, don't pay attention to the OSD. I was having um, an issue trying to set that up, so I'm not... Uh, this is just looking at the lines and all of that. So, um, so again, this is just straight through. Uh, I mean, straight through. It's... Um, just you know right out of the box and um i just set it up in beta flight quick and that's that all right so this is after the wire mod um putting the wire on the uh flight controller and the camera there and you can see that the lines are still there um which kind of gives the reason for um putting on the hex files that uh, newbie jones supplies uh there's the no osd and the osd that you can put on so um so this here just kind of shows that just doing the wire mod without actually updating the um the hex file still really doesn't do much um the lines are still there um and again i crashed but uh you know that's a good example um i'm gonna do turtle mode again but i'm gonna cut it short so that way i can show you kind of what it's like after the wire mod so this is i mean i mean after the hex that they give you to put on it so you can see um you know what the difference is all right so you can see there's no lines there's nothing it's a pretty good picture there's a couple of glitches here and there but you can noticeably see a difference um the lines that were there in the previous two are gone um i'm actually surprised because my shop is um you know pretty heavily you know wi-fi uh, a big Wi-Fi environment because of the building I'm in. So, um, and with it being so small and with all the computers in it and stuff like that, you would think it'd be worse, but I mean, this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, so this is kind of proof that with the wire mod and the hex file that they give you, it looks pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to mess, I, what I did was I did the no OSD and the no OSD really, really just turns off the osd on the flight i mean in their uh, b siever um or the bi camera and um vtx and that and lets you use the osd from your flight controller and beta flight so that's kind of what i like so i like it set up that way um you can see on the bottom it's kind of cut off but i can just change the um change that in beta flight so i'm not worried about that too much so um so yeah again i mean it looks really you know really good um, I'm really surprised and I think this might be my, uh, my go-to now for, 
uh, indoors, and I haven't tried it outdoors yet. Uh, it's still kind of windy outside. It's uh, it's been warm, really warm, but um, I think it's just not really that good for you know something like this outside. So, um, so we'll wait and I'll see. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic, and there we go.